because the recruiter is getting thousands of resumes every day everyone is applying so why why they should select you you should you have to be out of the box like what i would say that you you should be a maverick soul for getting an uh, off campus internship or or job offer <music> everyone this is sanjit from the indian institute of technology indian school of mines dhanbad currently i am a final year undergrad pursuing bachelor of technology in mining engineering i have done a summer research internship at the indian space research organization and uh, inspire i was also a part of the inspire 2020 summer intern at tata steel during the summers of some 2020 first internship was at uh, Uh, Indian Space Research Organization ISRO uh, in one of their stations uh, that is uh, Indian Institute of Remote Sensing dedicated for the field of remote sensing and uh, this was uh, a summer research intern in the summers of my second year and uh, on through on campus process uh, i backed the internship at uh, tata steel and this was a some i was a part of the inspire 2020 summer intern uh, from where i bagged my ppo uh, during the summers of 2020 so isro was an off campus uh, internship i got to know about uh, isro during my first year when one of my seniors went to do the internship uh, at indian institute of remote sensing that is one of the stations of isro in india so Uh, i was really fascinated about uh, the um, by hearing the name isro that uh, yes this is something really cool and i also want to do that so i talked to that senior and uh, got to know what is the research field or research topic and how it can be implemented in my core uh, subject that was the core major that was mining engineering and i got to know that remote sensing is something that is really uh, applicable in this mining sector so uh there are two ways uh, you can go to isro uh, one is through uh, off campus uh, indian academy of sciences which actually uh, opens uh, their applications for uh, every institute in india and the other is directly going to the uh, career portal or uh, website portal uh, of uh, the different stations of isro so uh, i applied through both of them uh, and uh, alas that i was rejected through the indian academy of sciences but uh, uh, i went to the indian institute of remote sensing website and then applied there uh, and uh, so it requires like you need to send your resume a statement of purpose and a letter of recommendation from one of your professors so this is the step and then uh, they shortlist you on the basis of your resume and the letter of recommendations and the projects that you have done uh, during your course or during your engineering so uh, the initial few weeks were very confusing i used to go to my scientist and he used to say to me that uh, learn this learn that and uh, i initial 2 to 3 weeks i only used to read see youtube videos of different scientists uh, of nasa or isro or someone someone of that field that my scientist guided me to but after 2 to 3 weeks when the data set uh, the satellite data set was given to me i was now clear that why uh, my scientist was telling me to uh, study all these thing the jigsaw puzzles were now on to the place and now i can connect i was able to connect that yes these things were really important how that learning thing was there during my stay at uh, isro uh, one of the best thing that i uh, got to see was that during that time chandrayaan 2 was going to be launched so i saw that very closely clearly see your skills your uh, field that you are really good into keep the points as simple as you can keep your best points uh, on the resume show your best skills that why you are Uh, really good for that position you are applying to be clear why you are applying to the uh, to to the job position to the uh, uh, job role 
and be clear on the job description that uh, they are providing to you uh, for letter of recommendation uh, i went to one of my professors who uh, whom i was really comfortable with and have worked uh, with him so uh, he, he helped me to write a good letter of re- recommendation and uh, i think that's the factor that made all the difference because uh, someone who is a, re- a professor is someone who is really into that field from a very long time and getting their backup was something that really helped me they so you should have a clear picture of all this uh, all these things before writing the statement of purpose that why are you uh, going to the job profile or why you are why you want to do that internship or why you want to back that so i got to know about this internship through uh, through our um, career development center that is cdc of iit ism dhanbad and it was an on campus process uh, this is how i got to know about so uh, tata steel's internship process was divided into uh, can be divided into three steps first was uh, the aptitude test but uh, along with the core mining engineering question those who qualify the uh, written aptitude and uh, the um, core mining engineering uh, questions test then they go into the uh, group discussion and followed by the personal interview for this i knew that uh, i need to keep my cv uh, as much core as i could uh, do i tried to put on the training that i did in different mines during the course i tried to uh, show the isro internship where i did the project which was uh, related to mineral and mining sector and i also tried to show that uh, show the extra co curricular activities that i had done in the last two years uh, during my stay at iit ism dhanbad uh, during the interview the whole interview was based on the um, core subject that was mining engineering uh, nothing uh, this was all based on the course that i have studied and nothing was out of any like syllabus or out of the box questions were there inspire 2020 uh, tata steel internship was during this summer of 2020 uh, because due to covid 19 it was a uh, work from home but uh, i also had a question in my mind uh, before the start of my internship that how mining engineering project can be done from home so uh, and this some difficulties were faced but uh, the mentor who was allotted to me at tata steel was kind enough to give all the data and the data points uh, to me and uh, i processed the data and uh, helped tata steel to actually uh, Uh, get something fruitful through my project i worked on a real life project that was going in the one of the mines of tata steel at rachi if you want to bag and ppo through your internship so i would uh, suggest that uh, do your work very sincerely try to devote as much time as you can give uh, to the project or uh, to the intern that you are doing uh, um, be true to yourself and uh, give something that is really valuable to the uh, firm that is really valuable to the manager or the guide that you are working with and uh, rest is uh, everything depends on your work that how you are working how much you are devoting time on the work and how true you are to yourself for me uh, off campus process is uh, very far difficult than the on campus process in the on campus process you are having the limited number of students who are actually competing with you but during an off campus internship you don't know who your competitors are who you are actually competing with so you need to be the best that you could be and bagging an off campus internship or an off campus job offer is something very great and i have that respect for everyone who is doing that so off camp during uh what i feel that what should be during the off campus internship is that uh, your resume should be something that is apart from every other you need to be creative you need to be simple and you need to be very much focused on what you are writing on your resume or what you are showing to the recruiter because the recruiter is getting thousands of resumes every day everyone is applying so why why they should select you 
you should you have to be out of the box like what i would say that you you should be a maverick soul for getting an uh, off campus internship or or job offer looking on the jds of different uh, companies one thing is common analyze data the whole world has changed into numbers like everything uh, can be analyzed everything can be changed into data learn data analytics that's the this is something that can give you one edge over everything uh, try to learn uh, either r python or microsoft excel these are something that is really helpful in coping up with the large data sets try to uh, like uh, most of the companies are also inculcating the process of case into case studies and they are also you need to analyze data so try to solve case studies using data uh, everything i think uh, revolves around data and if 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 you ask me that to, what is the one thing that you need to learn i would say that analyzing the data however you are analyzing uh, try to learn this thing Thank you.